So before we go over your rotary instrumentation technique, I want to go over a little bit about the files that you'll be using in preclinic and in the clinic. In your lecture notes um, and in the clinic, we'll be using the K3XF file system, but in the preclinic, we're going to be using the K3 system. They're the same exact file as far as file design and the technique that you use them with. It's just that the metallurgy in the file is a little bit different. Um, the K3XF are heat treated for more flexibility. Um, and the K3s have a little bit different handle. It's a gold handle with two lines on it versus the K3XF, which is a silver handle with one line on it. So I just want to kind of explain a little bit about how you set them up in the same way and tell which file is which. Um, in the K3XF, the apical size is indicated by the color stripe on the file. So red indicates 25 tip size, whereas black would indicate 40 tip size. The taper on these files is indicated by the stopper size. So pink would be 0 0.10, teal 0 0.08, and then green would be your 04 series. In this uh, K3XF, if these had um, orange stoppers, they would be the 06 series. Um, with the K3s that you're using in the preclinic, uh, the handles have two stripes on them. The top stripe should indicate the taper, and then the bottom stripe will indicate the tip size. Um, the stopper is also uh, color coded as well, so the stopper should also be in line with the taper size. Um, if you ever are confused though about what uh, size it is or like this 2508, the, the color stripes have kind of faded here, you can always look on the handle itself on both the K3s and the K3XF and it should say the, the, both the taper and the tip size. So this one says 0.08 on the handle itself and 25 for the tip size. So you can always look at it that way and line them up. For our instrumentation demo, we're going to be using the K3XF, but again, you could you use the K3s in the same way. Uh, so I have them kind of lined up here to do an 04 taper canal, so this would be kind of a small to medium size canal. Um, in any case, before we start using our rotary instruments, and I'm going to be using this on a plastic block today, um, we want to get an, our working length determined and a glide path created before we move to our rotary files. And we're going to use do that using hand files. So once you have your access done, you can use your images to, to determine an estimated working length. In this, I've already kind of determined this block to be uh, 17 millimeters for my working length. Um, that's both estimated and corrected because I can see it. In clinic, what you would do is you would um, estimate, and in preclinic as well, you would estimate from your pre-op radiographs, and then you would uh, take an image to confirm that length. So here I have my 10 file at my corrected working length of 17. I'm going to make sure that's good and loose. And then I'm going to move on to creating my glide path. I'm going to irrigate. This is just water here, but in clinic you'd be using sodium hypochlorite. I'm going to move to my 15 file. I'm going to measure it at my corrected working length of 17. And I'm going to take that into my canal and make sure that that fits nicely with just some filing motion to my corrected working length. And I'm going to irrigate again here to keep debris out. And then I'll move to my 20 hand file at my corrected working length, 17 millimeters. And get that guy in my canal. And make sure that that's good and loose at my length. So that's creating my glide path with my hand files. At this point, um, if we're you know happy with our length and we have a good smooth glide path, we'd be ready to move on to our rotary instrumentation. So with the rotary instrumentation, the first two files you're going to use are the 2510 and the 2508. These are our orifice opener files. And they're going to just create space 
kind of coronally in the canal so then the O4 series files can work deeper in the canal towards the apex. So I'm going to take the 2510 first. And this file is not expected to go to your length. It's just expected to go to your to the point of resistance to create space coronally. But I always measure it to my length so in some larger canals I know I'm not forcing it beyond my length. So I'm going to take this into the canal just to the point of resistance. And then I'm going to clean it off. Might go back in one more time to create some space coronally and then clean it off and take that file out. And I'm going to irrigate to remove debris and go in and I'll recapitulate with my 10 file again to help kind of keep debris floating in there so it's not binding apically and you're keeping that path clear. So I've started some coronal enlargement. You can see it's a little bit larger there now coronally than it was before. And I'm going to go a little bit deeper with the 2508. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to measure this to my length so I know I'm not going beyond my length, but this file is not expected to go all the way to your corrected working length. I'm just going to place it in the canal here until it binds. And I'm not really putting any apical pressure, just kind of an in and out type of mo motion to create that coronal space. And now I'm going to irrigate. And I'll go in and recapitulate with my 10 file. Now I'm going to start, now I've made space coronally, I'm going to start with my 04 series working from the, the 40 down to the 25. And again, this is kind of like, like we were explaining in lecture, it's a crown down sequence. So you're not expected to get to length with, with the larger files initially. Um, you're just working your way down towards the apex. So first I'm going to go with my 40, 04. I'm going to measure this to my corrected working length of 17. I'm going to place it in my canal and I'm going to just go to resistance and just light apical pressure. So I didn't get all the way to my length. I'm still a few millimeters short, but that's okay. I'm just making space coronally. So again, I'm going to irrigate out the canal. and take my 10 file in to move any debris into suspension. So next I'm gonna to go to my 35, which should go a little bit deeper than my 40, but again, wouldn't be expected to go all the way to my working length. So I'm gonna measure it to 17, place it in the canal, and just work it to resistance. And this guy's going a little bit further, but again, not all the way to corrected working length. So again, I'm gonna irrigate. And recapitulate. Before moving on to the next file. So now we're going to move on to the 20, the 30 file that we've gotten, now that we've gotten the 35 in there uh, to resistance. So I'll measure this one to my corrected working length, 17. And then I will take that file into the canal and again just to resistance. So every time when we go in with these smaller files we're getting closer to our length but we're not quite to our length yet, even with the 30. So I'll go ahead and irrigate. And recapitulate with my 10 file. And now I'm gonna go in with my 25. And 
I'm going to measure that to my working length, place it in the canal, and now I'm pretty close to my length, but I'm not quite there. So that probably means I just have to do a little bit more coronal enlargement. So I'm going to take that 25 out. I'm going to irrigate. And recapitulate. And now I'll go back kind of through my series, starting with uh, my my orifice openers, which will now, now probably go a little bit deeper and make some more space coronally so that my, my uh, O4 files can get a little bit deeper. So I'm going to go back in with my 2510. And again, these are not expected to go to length. Just going to resistance. I'll irrigate. And recapitulate. I'll go in with my 2508 orifice opener. And they're just going back through this sequence. Now everything's going a little bit deeper and eventually my 2504 should get there. So again, I'll irrigate. And my irrigating tip, I've measured two millimeters back and bent it from my corrected working length. So it's measured at 15, so I know I'm not forcing any irrigant through the apex. Now I'll start back on my 04 series. My 4004 measured to my corrected working length of 17. This is going a little bit deeper now, making some more space. But again, not to full length. I'll irrigate and recapitulate. I'm going to go back in with the 3504. And this again is going a little bit deeper, but not to my corrected working length yet. Irrigate. Recapitulate. I'll go back to my 30 now. Measure that at 17. And place it in the canal. It's going close to my working length, but not all the way. Irrigate. Recapitulate. And now I'll go back in with my 2504. And now this is getting to length. So once I have my 2504 to length, um, I can apically enlarge from there to create the MAF size that I want. So if I've determined that this canal I want to irrigate, or excuse me, instrument to a size 30, I would just go now in with the 30 file, I'll recapitulate here. So now I'll go in with the 30 file, and now that I've created space with the 25, the 30 will likely go to length now. So I'll measure this guy again to 17, place it in my canal. And it's getting close to length, but still not quite there. So I'll go in and irrigate.
and recapitulate. And usually if, you know, I'm apically enlarging and that neck, the 25 went there, but the 30's not going there, but I want it to be 30 apically. I'll just go in with the one bigger than the, the 30, the 25, measure that to my length, and just create a little bit more space coronally. Because usually when the files aren't going to length, it's because they're they're binding up higher on the shank of the or on the shaft of the file. So I'll just go in with the 35, which isn't going to go to length, but it's just going to make some more space coronally. Irrigate. Recapitulate. And now I'll go back in with the 30, which is the one I want as far as the apical size. Measure that to my length. Place it in the canal. And now it's getting to my length. So you never want to force anything. You can always make more room with larger files before going down with the smaller files to length. And from here we can just continue to apically enlarge dependent on the file or on the canal size. If we wanted our our uh, MAF to be 40, now that the 30 is, go, 30 is going to length, then we would go to the 35, make sure that goes to length, and then move to the 40. Um, so you can really just apically enlarge from there. If we're happy with our preparation to a 3004 to length, 30 would be our MAF at this point, and we would confirm that with an MAF file shot by taking a 30 hand file, measuring that to our corrected working length of 17, placing it in the canal, making sure it has a good seat at that length, and taking a radiographic image to confirm that it's at our length radiographically. And then if that's good, then you'd be ready to carry on with your obturation.